Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and it's been a while since we've seen each other. I got banished to the Shadow Realm by YouTube for a week, but I'm back. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm not Mr. Beast, I'm Mr. Obese. So there's some learning curve here that comes with this whole YouTube thing. I'm figuring it out, guys. Don't worry. But I figured the best way to come back would be watching the Fat Boy Grim Reaper rip into some 600 pound people because my surgeon was like, I don't know, he was strict, but he was not nearly as harsh as Dr. Now is. I'm just gonna be honest. I think if I had a doctor like Dr. Now, it probably wouldn't have taken me as long to like snap into it because I respond well to people that are blunt to me because I'm a very blunt person. But Dr. Now is kind of a legend in his field and I love the guy, I think he's freaking great. So uh, let's check into times that he owns some people. You're still reading and doing whatever you want and just giving me excuses now. It's hard. I'm not going to say that, um... Is what do you mean? Is eating, it... eating right is hard? Yeah. Shit, what do you mean? When watching My 600 Pound Life, it's pretty easy to get frustrated with patient... Oh, uh, is that Shanae? I, I think that's Shanae. She's the next one I got to do the full episode to, I know. But yeah, it's hard, but I'm also going to explain, like... When you're 600 pounds, it feels like you're standing at the bottom of a mountain. You got to get up one side, down the other, but you're on crutches. Like, that's how you feel. It just feels like too much to do. That's how I look at it. Gents who are clearly on a path to failure. But usually, by the time we want to start yelling at our screens, the show's reoccurring hero, Dr. Now, appears to call them out for their terrible terrible decisions. In today's video, we'll be listing a few of his best moments. So, with that said, here are a few My 600 Pound Life patients who got owned by Dr. Now. Before we get started though, leave a comment down below letting us know who your favorite My 600 Pound Life guest is. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Who's my favorite? I don't know. I, I'd have to say... That I liked, what's the one, James King? I liked his episode just because I didn't like the dynamic between him and her, but Betty Jo was good too. Shanae, I know that's a hell of a one I gotta get into. I also saw my surgeon this morning. He's pretty proud of me, but I also hit the 305 point this morning, so I'm officially 300 pounds down. That way you enter into our monthly shout out giveaway. The first time Lindsay goes in to see Dr. Now, his first line of questioning is why she wants to try another weight loss surgery when her first gastric sleeve eight years ago didn't end up working. Damn, she gets a second go around, but I didn't think she looked that fat from the chin up. She was, you know, maybe three, four. Not six, though. She has a skinny face. She lucked out. As he points out, the second time is likely to just end in failure as well, if her behavioral issues don't change. He's also quick to point out her husband, Paul, <laughs> as the obvious enabler. But Paul actually- That guy's like 130 pounds soaking wet. He tied two by four to his ass. He's gonna fall in. He gives her a reality check later on. He gets frustrated with her demands for snacks and ends up throwing bags of chips at her while telling her that she's going to eat herself to death. Later on, when Lindsay fails to meet her first weight goal, as predicted, Dr. Now shuts down her claim that she followed the 1200 calorie diet, and by her second appointment, she's lost even less. Dr. Now questions her if she wants to tell the truth this time, and she does tell the truth, that she's been more into danishes than dieting. I ain't gonna lie though, Danishes are pretty fire, so I'm not that mad at her for that, but sometimes it takes a few months to snap into it. But if you throw some chips at me, I'm gonna send you to meet Tupac. Like, don't play with me like that, fat or not. At this point, Lindsay is nowhere close to getting weight loss surgery, and Dr. Now isn't up for playing any more games. Who's this lady? I expect to see you back here in two months and 75 pounds less, okay? Okay. Are we having any snacks left? Yeah, we do, but, like, do you really want to eat those snacks? Well, my back really hurts. You know what this Yeah, my back hurts. I say I got a beef stick for you. Get ready. This is right here. All these little <laughs> things right here in this bag is considered death, Lindsay, and you're killing yourself with this bull <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> sticking around for it. The truth is you really don't mm. want to change. And I know that because you already had one weight loss surgery and you failed it. Because you don't want to give up the food that you like that's killing you. 
What do you think? I'd be curious to see how good she did like the first time. Because a lot of people will start off good and then they'll kind of fall apart once their stomach starts to stretch back out. But yeah, if, if she's already done it once, she's probably not going to be successful again. She'd have to get her head into it, right? What are you going to do from this point? Are you going to eat yourself to death or are you going to change your eating habits? No, I'm definitely going to change my eating habits. Okay, then show me. Because you're running out of time. That's tough. Danishes are good. Up next is Ashley B, who weighed in at 637 pounds at her first appointment and had to use a walker to get around at only 32 years old. She Damn. claims that she didn't grow up knowing how to eat healthy. And as you can guess, Dr. Now definitely isn't going to let her use that excuse anymore, especially- Okay, my mom tried to make me eat healthy, but she also gave me an option. I don't think you should give kids the option like, hey, you can pick what you want. That shouldn't happen that way. You should just be given what you get. If you don't eat it, oh well. Especially when she's been given her diet plan. But believe it or not, she only ends up losing six pounds in the next two months while ah. on the diet. Ashley claims that she was- She took a big poop. Is trying and only messed up a few times. But by the doctor's estimation, she must have been eating at least 6,000 to 7,000 calories a day to maintain her weight. Or, as Dr. Now put it, she's Damn. basically eating for the next three years in advance. He asks her if she was expecting some kind of magic to happen, and reminds her that weight loss has far more to do with eating than a- I mean, come- them scale gremlins be getting you. I also have a magic scale in the corner that'll make you lose three extra pounds. I bought a new scale and realized that there was a reason I was three pounds heavier every time I weighed in at the doctor's. That scale's full of crap. That thing's magic, man. You can lose weight like it's nothing. Activity, along with one of his classic zingers. That's not reality. So you're 637 pounds, huh? Yes. All right, so uh, I see you walking with a walker, huh? Mm hmm Because you have an eating disorder where you don't want to stop overeating and you make excuses why you aren't able to do that. So this is something that we will need to address. All right, Ashley, so what's going on in Louisiana? Nothing. Whole lot of crawfish and shrimp and grits and you guys, you guys eat pretty damn good in Louisiana. But you're kind of the king of excuses at that size. Like, what are you going to do, right? You're going to make excuses for yourself or you're going to do something about it. Making excuses is a hell of a lot easier. When you stop making them, you'll start making progress. Pretty much. And I see that because in two months, you barely lost any weight. I have been trying to follow the diet. There is a few times that I messed up. Uh, okay. To maintain the weight you are, you need to be eating at least six to 7,000 calories a day. So you're still Damn. overeating and doing whatever you want and just giving me excuses now. I eat like 7, 000, a little over 7,000 calories in a week now. It's hard for me to process that that's how much I was eating back then. It's hard. I'm not going to say that, um, is what do you mean? Is eating, it... eating right is hard? Yeah. Shit tastes good. Cole Lissa weighs in at 643 Ooh. pounds during her first appointment. And Dr. Now is not impressed with her diet. Every time I see those angles, I always think like, this is what she sees. <laughs> of candy, soda, and fried stuff. He's even less impressed with her use of nicotine patches since she's already had a heart attack and suffers from a heart disease. During her first follow-up with Dr. Now, Melissa is still over 600 pounds, only having met half her goal. And when she defeatedly says, I tried, Dr. Now responds, Oh God, I tried. But also my grandmother's the only person I've ever seen smoke a cigarette while she's got like two nick patches slapped on. She's crazy. Bonds with probably the most crushing, no you didn't, we've ever heard. He also corrects her when she mistakenly refers to the 1200 calorie diet as 1400 calories and tells her that the changes she made still aren't enough to save her life. He wants her to lose 50 pounds by the next month. And afterwards, she does seem to be making a decent attempt oh. to enjoy her health. I mean, I can't lie. I probably would be like her. You put a damn like tomato in my mouth. I'm going to gag like a freshman at a frat house. Like, it's just, I can't do it. The texture gets me, man. For your foods. So what does your eating habit look like? Um, candy, soda. Lots of junk food, fried and greasy stuff too. 
You're 41 years old, you should know the candy is not part of your diet. You come here and start eating soda and candy and smoke. But Reese's is good as hell, man. Them Twix do something to you. I can't lie. I, I probably had so many fast breaks when I joined the program. Like, there's a while there where you're, like, not bought in. You need to get your ass in gear. I messed up just as much as any of them. So I'm not sitting here judging them. I know what the hell it feels like. But I also didn't have Dr. Now sitting there watching me. Because that man scares me to death. Like, he just, like is the executioner of fat people. Like, he scares me, but he's also extremely helpful. Why are you upset? Drop the rollo. I, I thought I did way better than what I did. No, you didn't, because if you tried, you would have lost more than half of what you should have at this point. So you study the aim four to five times what you should. Well, you don't understand what you did wrong, but uh, let's help you to understand it instead of crying and uh, throwing a tantrum. When you are 600 pounds, if you eat properly, you can easily lose 100 pounds in a month. Yeah, but a 600 pound baby could cause some damage on some M&Ms, buddy. Them family sizes ain't cutting it. I'd sit there and eat a family size in two days. Like them big bags from Walmart, I'd pol like polish one of them off. Like it, it didn't stand a chance against me, especially the caramel ones. Jian has lost 29 pounds of what she lost in the hospital. So, instead oh, of getting shit. approved for weight loss surgery, like she was hoping and expecting from the beginning of her episode, she gets an earful from Dr. Now. He gives her a chance to explain herself, but isn't buying her explanation hey. that she just had She's got rosy cheeks like me. One bad day where she went over her calorie limit. He points out that she's seen how weight loss worked in the hospital on a controlled diet and that she doesn't have time for dishonesty as this is a life and death matter. He lays out her situation as a metaphor where she's falling off a cliff and they're throwing her a rope all while she screams that they're not yeah, but I'm going to hit a few branches first. Like, that's just how it works. I got to hit some branches, roll over, land on the second, like level and then you could toss me the rope and help me it takes a while to get in the right mindset honestly like i feel for these people because i know i i wasn't in that mindset but you just got to get beat up a few times before you realize but if your health's at risk and you're like deteriorating more quickly you need to get your ass in gear not helping her when she just doesn't want to do the work to pull herself back up who the hell's lifting 600? What is the problem that you think the solution is weight loss surgery? Because I'm too heavy and I'm, I can't do it without it. So you decided already what the solution is for your problem. But I got news for you. That solution is not the solution for your problem. Your problem is your eating disorder. And surgery does not correct eating disorder. Nah, the problem's my metabolism, bro. That thing's not working. It, it checked out a long time ago. Also, would you look at how sexy that man is right there? He's a friggin' boss right there. That's a Chad doctor. Okay, I understand that. I hope you do, because before we even consider any weight loss surgery, I will need to see evidence that you're willing to put forward the effort to change. Can you tell me what happened? I mean, I had a day that I went over the 1,200 calories. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts happened. Like, what? I don't know what answer you're looking for. Maybe he just wants he just wants them to fess up. That's got to be what it is. But a lot of people aren't as forthcoming as I am. I'll tell you everything about me. You can know all my demons. I don't mind. So one bad day and you gained thirty pounds. I, is that what you're I, telling me now? We've gone over the absolute facepalm situation that is James K and his gross wife Lisa quite a few times. So let's keep this section Damn. short. Dr. Now gave these. I mean, I didn't call her gross, but a lot of people are coming to her defense like he was fat beforehand. Yeah, but you tell me how many times he's getting up to get his own damn Oreos or go to the store and get Funyuns. You tell me who's driving to the store, getting the food, bringing it to him, delivering it to him. I understand he's going to throw a fit, but they make earplugs for stuff like that. Like, come on, get real. These two some pretty harsh lectures the first time we saw them. But unfortunately, James was doing even worse by the time of his Where Are They Now episode a year later. Ooh, still well over that. 700 pounds and suffering complications from his cellulitis. And being the good doctor that he is, Dr. Now is still not giving up, no matter how obvious it is that Lisa isn't trying. Is this how you want to live, James? It takes five people to lift you. No, it's miserable. 
It is miserable, but whose fault is it? Mine? I mean, it's hers and your... It's a combination, all right? I'm not putting it all on her, but some of it's definitely on her. Like, she's the enabler in this situation. But he's the root of the problem, but, like, she's watering the plant. Think about this on a daily basis. What do you think about it, but do you do something about it? What's the difference? You do your part, and he does his part, or I'm true with you. You understand this? That man's fired up. Up next is Shanae, who has a BMI of one. Oh, that, was that Shanae in the first clip, like, traumatizing the Taco Bell, or was that a different person? Somebody let me know. 123 at only 28 years old. And Dr. Now warns her that the next five years could see her bedridden and going up to 1,000 pounds if she keeps on eating the way she does. Now, this should be scary enough for her to stick to her diet. But later on, we see her cheating with some Taco Bell. I mean, them, them gordita crunches are so... I'm not... Don't come for me, but that's good, okay? I like that. T gordita crunches are great. I tried to eat one like six months ago. That's the only one I've had in two years, and it was still fire. And to no one's surprise, she doesn't lose her 30-pound goal. She actually gains weight instead, getting up to almost 700 pounds. During her second interview with Dr. Now, Sinead tries blaming it on the fluid in her legs. But Dr. Now doesn't even let her finish the sentence before asking her to try something else. Because let's be real, if you've ever watched this show before... I mean, she definitely got some fluid in there, right under her gunt. But, like, that's enough water to sink a boat, if there is any in there. But she clearly is a way shorter and carrying her weight, like, very low. I, it's all a lot of her weight is in her legs but also how does it she's got a butt in the front i don't know how it did that like her belly button did that but that it's crazy how your body will put fat in certain places doctor now has heard that excuse a thousand times you were supposed to lose 30 pounds in a month and instead you are at 693 and that is a 20 eight pound weight gain um, i have a lot of fluid in my legs can you try swelling. something else because i heard that one a thousand times to gain like you did you still have to be eating over ten thousand calories a day damn i don't think i could eat ten thousand if i freaking tried not now for sure but even back then actually i probably did it back then uh if i probably had a few go arounds with some cheesecake where i topped that ten thousand reach the mile high club or whatever at calories you're not realizing that i did not realize that all right i don't think you're grasping how dangerous your situation is shanae and with all the health issues you got you may not even make it to 30. damn i mean shanae's the next one that i'm gonna watch the whole episode so i'm kind of looking forward to that one but this is just a little shorter one since it's my first video back. So uh, thanks for everyone that's still here. I don't know. I'm going to screw up. I mess up sometimes. But Mr. Obese, not Mr. Beast. All right, guys. I'll see ya. Peace.